Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. Guys, we have a mech to build today and I think we're gonna start with just that. Last time we were playing, we got some parts of a dervish and since it's... I don't know, is this a primitive mech? Yeah, I think the, the bright pink is primitive and the dark purple-ish is special mech. That, that is it, right? Is that Blackjack Omni or is that Blackjack Zero? I think it's Zero. Yeah, rather than Omni. And his 1R is also primitive. So yeah, uh, by this deduction, this here is a primitive mech, but it is better than no mech in the 55 ton bracket. Let's take a look at this dervish here. Maybe we can do something with it. Upgrading it to full extent so it can do a thing. Um, I mean, uh, I mean, we had to put a lot of work into this guy. Oh boy, armor primitive, engine primitive, fusion core is missing. Let's see, how much money do we need to actually put that to good use? I want the missile, 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 evasion, ignore. That's the word. Uh, that's coming as a, as a quirk later. Uh, also 30% extended firing up. Uh, arc? God, I cannot talk today. Uh, let's go ahead and put a... Uh, 250 is good enough for a support mech. I want to have some missile mechs on my battlefield. Like, one missile mech is good here. Um, Alright, so we need an engine upgrade. Any engine upgrade is fine. Light engine seems to be good. Uh, this is 1 million C bills already. Alright, well, we can do with that. Uh, regular armor overrides the primitive armor. We have endo steel. I'm gonna give it regular endo. I wanna have the clan endo steel for some bigger mechs later. That I won't touch for a while. Ultra light gyro might be actually good here because this is a second liner. Probably not getting shot too often. Uh, we got... We got, we got, we got a thing that I wanted to do. Oh, yeah, fire control systems and stuff. Um, no, hmm, no cockpit upgrade. Anything. Come on, give me a basic cockpit. It would be better than the primitive. Because we get negative piloting and this thing weighs two tons compared to the one ton cockpit. But okay, uh, it's probably gonna get like Artemis. There we go. And the whatever, the basic sensors. So this is the mech that I would probably run. Now. This is the mech in terms of basic setup that I would probably run. We can put some more weapons on the mech, and I'm all in for that. Single heat sink cooling only. That's a bit unfortunate. We got an LRM5, uh, 15. So what about that? Seems actually quite good. Honestly, this is not bad. I can even slap a five on here. Sure. Bit of ammo, if we have it. I don't know. Do we have Artemis even? We don't even have Artemis. So uh, the fire control system could be anything else. Let's say four tons of ammo. Mm. Let's say four tons of ammo and that. Plus, what's it gonna be? Um, we have an exchanger, but again, I want that thing somewhere else. We can carry a combat shield, can we not? Oh, we need eight tons for it. All right. Um, industrial armor, we don't have it right now, correct? Weird. Um, I don't think we can make this happen. The active probe is incredibly good here, and the Guardian ECM would also be really good. And I think this would be the build. Uh, plus a ton. Ah, less! We can make an LRM-10 to LRM-5s, and then save a ton. Or half a ton, I don't know, let's see. There we go, LRM5 here, LRM5 here, and that's a full ton saved, yeah. The fives are a bit more weight efficient than a single ten. I mean, that would be a build. Repaired and everything, 36 days. We will probably find something better within those 36 days, right? So is it worth building it right now? I doubt it, I honestly doubt it. It's kind of weird. And I really want this, but I don't think it's worth investing 36 days of repair time. I mean, another way to save tonnage, I just realized, is uh, getting the primitive cockpit out and putting something else in here. And again, Artemis is not needed. That could also be dropped to... Fire control system. Uh, improved for night vision. That's really good. But I'll, and that also saves us a ton. Um, however. However. I don't know if this mech is the mech that I want to run right now. The mech that I want to build. I think I need the money. We start the repair already. That's the thing that we can could maybe possibly agree upon, right? Half a million and 21 days for potentially getting that 55 tonner. Can we acquire heavies? 
with the, the things that we have. This is the thing that I'm currently thinking about, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, I am so sorry. We can... Uh, we can probably get there with the things that we have. We don't need this dervish. We are aiming at heavy max. Keeping our money together. So, sorry dervish. You're gonna get scrapped. And uh, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> alrighty then, alrighty. Uh, but anyway, we have some things that we can put in our mechs to make them gooder. Or better, how you say it. Let me see. Anchi? Argo is complete. Oh, that's great. We can now hire Decker and probably Eric. Welcome in, Deck. And welcome in, Eric. You were ex military, lucky with the jam, chance multiplier reduction. Oh my god. You're gonna be a rat gunner, Eric. That's gonna be it. Cool. So, I wanted to put some goodies in my goodie max. So, let's take a look at the uh, crosscut. Some of you guys said I should put the TSEMP on this guy, but I don't see how it works. I, I don't know. Um, I have an ER medium laser. That's the thing I can take. Makes the mech a little bit more viable at longer ranges. I mean, a little bit more viable in terms of can shoot one laser. Um, the combat shield is still pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. This is the limiting factor of only having one energy hardpoint, so this is okay. And then I want to take the Hunchback. Didn't we get a better weapon for the Hunchy? It's currently running at AC20, right? We got an LP10. Yeah. Alright, man. You're gonna get refit now. Let's see what we can do with you. So, we have two bins of ammo, if I'm not mistaken. One cluster and one slug bin. And now we have three tons left over. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I think this guy needs another medium laser. And this guy needs maybe a, a heatsink and then maybe a laser AMS. I think a bit, a bit better protection would be nice. And then I would probably go with a, just a regular medium. And again, we need to put another ton of, uh, another ton of cooling into this mech. We're running single heatsink still, that's fine. So put that in there. Eight days. But it's worth it. Completely worth it. 36 out of 38. It's fine. Um, question is, is the laser AMS? Yeah, it's getting uh, calculated into that, which means the... Um, what's the heat? Five heat. Uh, when the laser AMS doesn't fire, will be deducted from this year. So this should be fine in terms of overall heat management. And now we have a weapon that can fire at longer ranges. Hell yeah! Also, your hunch is gone. Uh-huh. <laughs> Let's go. We went to surgical, uh, to plastic surgery here. So, Chameleon still in the making, but that's fine as well. Oh, we should probably upgrade the Argo a little bit more. I think this is where I'm gonna dump my money right now. And I want the third mech bay, so let's get these structural reinforcements going for us. Yeah, training modules would have been cool as well. But I think that's gonna be the next big thing. Wanna minimize the time. Ooh... Ooh, a million C bills for a light mech. I think we are beyond that. The scheme here will give you a light mech. Sometimes you get a cool special light mech. Like Arrhenius and stuff, I think. Um, I'm gonna not offer support. Maybe they can pull it off themselves. I don't want to spend a million C bills right now. Again, my money goes to the Argo. Two injuries. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Did we get it? No, we didn't get it. Okay, fine. So we're gonna wait for the Hunchy and then we go into the next mission without Majestic this time. Let's see what it's going to be. I want to play like two Skull missions. This is, I think, my current sweet spot and we might find Heavy Max here, as I just said. So let's go ahead, get all the salvage against the Fronks. Loader King is crit. Oh, you got internal damage. Mm, that's not good. Let me see. Can we repair this? Can we repair this real quick? Huh? Huh? Lost an AC5 as well. Should have taken a look at that. Stealth armor is gone as well. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Losing an auto cannon. That's not what I wanted. Cool. Composite is fine. I'm gonna give him spiked armor. Although spiked is heavy. I also get more armor because of it. Negative 10% walk distance is not really what I want on this guy. 
So, let's talk about this build for a second. Um, what about we get that double XL engine on the Mac? Can we, should we invest that three million? To, <laughs> we cannot do it. All right, we cannot do it. Let's go back. It's not possible. Uh, let's do something reasonable and let's do it fast, okay? I want to get into a mission. We spend too much time in the Mac lab. So no stealth on this guy anymore. I want to bring back the AC-5. That's important. Uh, we need some kind of um, armor override. I'm going to take regular armor because we are running TSM here. We cannot stack it with industrial armor. It doesn't work. Um, we have an AC-5 here. We have an AC-10 as well. I think I'm going to take the 10 over the 5. And it's a it's an uh, accuracy and evasion ignore AC as well. It has a jam chance, but who cares? Give it a 10. Drop the SRM. Get the left arm, right arm here. Okay. Question is, do we have ammo? AC-10 precision ammo. One bin. Is it gonna be enough? We got six shots here. It's a six shooter. <laughs> Doesn't work, right? It's too little. Too little ammunition. Um... I want these AC-5s. Probably want a double bin. Like two singular bins. Uh, actually, where is my precision ammo? This year. One bin of precision ammo, one bin of regular ammo should be good enough for our fights right now. We have one AC-5 here. And it takes eight tons to run this guy. I need an engine upgrade to make this happen. I don't want to invest in it right now, that's the problem. Light engine. See, 900,000. We'll take all the money away. That allows us to take another AC-5 on the other arm. I'm not taking it. Guess we have to go in without that AC. Or actually... With one AC. Right? Yeah, that's what we can do. Um, so, the other things that we were... Yeah, the other things that we were losing. Stealth armor, an ER medium, and an AC-5. That's alright. Um, we can bring back that ER medium, or any medium laser, and have it up and running in seven days again. Sure, let's go. We, we were losing stealth, and a bit of range on the medium laser, but that is alright. So, again, let's go and uh, try to repair our Loader King. We've almost spent a month here without playing any mission. But, you know, the good news is the, chamele the Chameleon is coming online, and I'm really looking forward to that. Cool. Get in here. Uh, Hunchback is there. Who's gonna be the Hunch Boy? I don't know. I want Decker to be in the group because he's giving us the officer bonus. Hmm. More sight and sensor range. But wasn't there something like Resolve Game? Maybe I'm confusing it with another skill here. Uh, at the same time, again, Lucky, Dependable, and Ex Military. Eric, you gotta get somewhere. Majestic is out for the moment, okay. Ooh, these pilots, they're not good. Do they come with innate experience? Let's see if we can maybe upgrade them. I want Eric and Decker. Nope. Yes. All right, Deck is gonna be the man. He's gonna get some skills. Um, but yeah, I guess we are going in with suboptimal mech pilots. Alrighty. Here comes the mission, finally. So, Hanji goes here. Decker goes on the Loader King. And Eric goes on the Hunchback. Let's see if we can make this happen. We need more firepower? What? Nah, we are fine, man. We are absolutely fine. Let's do it. Alright. Here we go. Oh, man. I, I don't know if, if that is a little bit too much. We should have maybe taken the one and a half skull mission that was available as well. But hey. If you don't punch above your weight, you're never gonna get anything done. So let's try. My ideal next mech would be probably a catapult or something. Like a catapult, an archer. Uh, we have some very good direct fire capacity. However, what we are missing is some uh, indirect support fire. Something that can just shoot at any location, in any direction, indirectly, helping out whenever it's needed. Um, so imagine a scenario where we almost destroy the mech and uh, we have no extra follow-up to take him down to take that last bit of damage or deal that last bit of damage that we need to. And then having an indirect firing mech that can just finish the job is really good here. 
And it also allows us to shave off armor early on so that we have an easier game in the mid game. So, again, missiles are good. LRMs are fine. Uh, by the way, thank you guys for the comments on the last video. Um, you said that the Loader King can pick up things, and I have to click the pick up button again, and then select a mech that I want to drop again. So we might want to check that out today. Here we go. Command interface initiated. We're playing recovery on one base. That's perfect. That is really good. We have friends. That's also really good. Hashtag quick mission. I want to drop in the forest somewhere. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Two side attack. Here. 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 And... Uh, here. Let's go. Some of these are outside of the forest, but this is the best protection that we can muster right now. So we're gonna make a pincer move against... Helicopters. Okay. Whitworth. Okay. No, not me! Not Irby Tank. Speaking of tank, there's a Thunderer. Two ballistics. Owens on our side, love to see it. Warrior H8. Or is it hate? What are the friends? Let me see. Yenlo Wang. Yenlo Wang 2. No, 3 even. Medium VSPL, MML, bolt on tandem rockets, flamer hotshot, and an LB20. Wow. A Ripper with an Inferno bomb rack and flamers. Love it! What else? Only three? Am I missing somebody? Seems to be three friends. Alright. So, now we have a bit of time to actually take a look. There's a warrior with a bunch of missiles. Might be rockets. Aaron with a BAP. Beagle Active Pro. Warrior 7A. Uh, what's that? Some kind of... Truck. Warthog. Okay. Doesn't seem scary. Uh, Calliope and the Whitworth here. So two lower and medium max, correct? I will wait. I will wait and I will stand still. Wow! Yan Lo Wang actually hitting with his LB20 at that range. It was a cluster shot, so it ignored evasion. And I think these cluster shots also have a bonus against flyers. Heavy retaliation, but the warrior didn't move. I also just spotted a commando here. Alright, let's get going. Let's move around a bit. The urban tank needs to be in motion. And since the warrior didn't move, we're gonna take the shot at him. Here comes the pain. Run 13. Lyope wants my verbi, but didn't connect. That's good. 13. Tinka on the Verbi. We better get her moving so that she generates some evasion. And you know what? I'm gonna shoot everything. There was a good chance we kill this thing now, and it means that our friends might shoot something um, more valuable as a target. None of these guys have really moved, so I think I'm gonna reserve until I get a clear shot on somebody. All of my squishies have moved already, except for the Verbi, uh, the, the, the Erby tank, which I should have probably moved out. Yeah. Bit of damage, but nothing too crazy. These guys are damaged as well. Where's my heavy mag? I was promised a heavy. All I'm getting is a pretty bad lance and then a support lance. Mm. So we have a target now. Let's go. Uh, let's not go. Let's just jump into cover and be very defended. Here's the Ripper with the bombs. He's not shooting yet. Alright, turn 8. The VTOLs are... not yet activated. Now they do it. So, this warrior needs to go. It has an autocannon 5. It can deal some serious damage over time if I leave it there. So this is basically a flying scorpion. One machine gun, one autocannon five. You gotta deal with them eventually. 45 damage coming from a large laser. Good to see. In the back of my loader king. Oh! Um... 
Let's move 4-2 instead of sprinting. It keeps us a bit steadier so that we can shoot a bit better and aim a bit better. That is some damage. Uh, and now our LBX autocannon. This weapon has an anti-air factor of 30. Whatever that means. Whatever that means. I'm gonna shoot a cluster shot. Pretty good. And now Decker. I also want to stay outside of the forest right now because I want to have more uh, accuracy compared to um, more defense. Come on, please take him down. Just one more. Or two, or three. Didn't work out. Interesting. Here's the Wang. Help me out, brother. Not like this, though. Not like this. Owens. He can do it. No? Out of range? Come on. You are no help right now. And they don't like the urban tanks. We gotta keep that in mind. These urban tanks seem to be um, attacked very often. Hmm... They are attracting so much fire. So verby. Alright, so I wanted to check. The hit chance here to possibly take him down, or the hit chance here, which is 42%. I'm gonna split damage. Hum. Between the two and take a kill on the AC-5 carrier. This is really good. Now we can use any of our splash tanks to get the job done here. I love it. Plasma. What are you? Plasma cannon MML9. Interesting. So in, in order to get two evasion, we got a sprint here, getting into the forest. But again, this is a good shot that we can take. Progress, guys. We have it. Pretty good. Here comes the Ripple. The bombs are flying against the Whitworth. Ooh, nice hit. <laughs> oh, that's a new effect. All right. Big flare. Um, Commando's backing up. You cannot run. I am here to get you. We're gonna brace, though. Shooting him is uh, less impactful than having more defense here. Especially when you're running a combat shield. Alright, so this is just best hit chance. 5%, no, no. 3%, no percent. I guess I shoot at 5. No hits. I mean, it was a long shot. It's fine. LBX! Yes! Get this Calliope down. He's nasty with his plasma. Slug shot? I think we can afford it here. Ooh, I could also ping them. I could also ping them. Hmm. But I think a shot is more impactful. Beautiful. Arm down. Unsteady. That is as good as pinging him. And that means that Decker can follow up. Pretty good. It's gonna move. Shotgun, MMS, this time. Target lock, let's go. So the plasma cannon is down. Sadly, I have to say. I kind of want to get that thing. He's on the ground and his engine got crit. Which means that that side torso is filled with engine parts, which is an indicator for a light or XL engine. If I can snatch an XL here, it would be so nice. What are you again? Ultra 5, ERPPC, good weapons. Ooh, that Ultra 5 would be so good. Um, sure. You know, I think I want to disengage from this. And, ah, uh, this is obstructed now, I should have checked that out. Um, but yeah. The Thunderer? It's a good chunk of armor. I mean, I have reinforcements coming from that side, helping out with the commando, probably. I'm going to attack the tank, because he's actually quite scary. Yeah, and somebody else can take the Calliope on the ground there. What are you, though? Ah, LRM5, nothing else. 
I'm gonna ignore that little... <laughs> I wanted to say tank, but it is not even a tank. It's a good old Toyota with a gun attached to its... Uh... What's it called? Uh, pickup? Thing? <laughs> ah, right, let's go. Um, punch attack. Here we go. Uh, his chance is actually quite good. We attack him from the bug. And actually, we should have kicked him. And then getting some criticals with the chainsaw attacks against his back. We had punched him. That's just funny. All right. Pretty nice. I mean, this commando is filled with parts as well. If we can just kill the pilot and save the metal, that would be nice. All righty. There's too much stuff going on right now. I have too many priorities. Let's let's deal with some of them, all right? I will move out of the forest. I think we are not in danger. And we just move instead of sprint. 37. So what about the engine? If I destroy that side also now, engine is gone. Weird. Anyway. Makes sense. Get him out of here. Endo steel destroyed. Ooh, this guy is filled with good stuff was filled with good stuff. Mando is not retaliating, that's nice. I mean, not in a direct melee way. And he's punching out. I love these moves, that's really cool. Right? So we are shaking this guy quite a lot. What about you? What about you? Definitely a cluster shot here. That's the engine down. Oh, it's not. So they have a light engine. Maximum. Lead out? It might be a panic out soon. Okay. And yet again, I don't think they have the firepower to instantly kill our tanks. Therefore, I'm getting out of the cover and get into a better shooting position. Ammo explosion. Contained, though. Uh, pilot is incapacitated. There are some parts left on the mech. We'll see about that in a second. Alright, let's check it out. On the Ripper. Man, these guys are actually helpful. They're absorbing a bit of fire. Problem is we cannot go for the Thunderer. Not yet, at the very least. Maybe the Thunderer is coming to us. With a bit of luck, we can do something here. Huh? This might be an angle. Mm, it's not. It is not. Um, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna try this instead. Wait for pathing. Uh huh. Incomplete. And so on. Confirm that. Pick him up. And I want to see what we can do with that now. <laughs> so uh, farm boy has nothing to do. He's fine. Oh, actually, I should have reserved this. I should have reserved to see if I can act afterwards. Um, but anyway, Verby. Let's go and help out against the Whitworth. That's still a target. Scrub. So the commando punched out. It's time to threaten these guys. But I'm just bracing here. The Whitworth is, I think, running double LRM-10 Artemis. If we can get some Artemis ammo, we can run Artemis in one of our future missile mechs. But would I pick ammo? I don't like... I really dislike picking ammo. I'm down. 50% is a good chance to hit. I'll take that. A little bit more support coming from the sidelines. So, Decker still has nothing to do. You know what? I'm gonna click that button. I'm gonna click that pickup now. Select a target. How? Farm boy. Farm boy on the urban tank, right? Um, hmm. Oh, oh, there it is! Um, and we dropped it! Hey, it worked! Okay, cool. Okay, okay, okay. So you have to click the initiative uh, button here. That is cool. I mean, we didn't really make a lot of way here, 
but the ability to technically make a speedy mech that transports something to the front line is insanely fun. That's cool. Um, and I do believe we could have actually acted still. Uh, nothing to do. Actually, I'm gonna wait. Maybe the Thunderer is coming towards us a bit. Eric, the last guy here. Let's go. Mr. Northman is waiting for you. Ooh. Um. Don't kill my Verbi the same way, please, alright? Uh, he generated a bit of evasion. I'm gonna EWS ping here. Shave off that one evasion that he had for the next round, which is starting now. This is a charge, is it? Oh, it's a punch attack. Oh boy. Yes, let's go. I can kick him as well. I'm gonna kick that guy. Let's do it. Come. And now... The chainsaws. I mean, this is really tiny bits of damage here, but it's okay. So, thanks to the pickup, we can... Ooh. This minimum range is a real problem. Um, so, where do we go? We gotta shoot indirectly from here. Good hits. Did we hit our friend? Didn't seem like it. Nope. More random missiles against the urban tank, which I don't care about. Now, we need to kill this... Um, What's it called? Thunderer. For it can destroy my friends. Actually, shooting from here seems good. We don't need much. Almost done, guys. So, what is left? We have this Whitworth and then this little AC with LRMs. Owens, finally into fighting position. Nope, never mind. Um, is this is a one shot. Let's go. Take him down. Last boy is the Whitworth. And then we go home, take some salvage, and have a good time. But we just need to get there. <laughs> Again, the problem of direct firing friends. Decker on the other side of the battlefield. Yeah. I want to sprint, buddy. Uh, you also go vigilant here. There we go. Took Vigilante for the high initiative this round. And... I'm slug shooting him. Miss. I wanted to punch a hole so that the super shotgun could come in and... Oh, it cannot come in. I thought we would get an angle here, but we don't. Weird. Alright. Wait it out then. What happened to the cab? There we go. Um... Yeah, I mean... Kicking, punching? I think I'm gonna kick again. There's interesting stuff in the mag. Let's see if we can somehow salvage something here. Make him unsteady. And then maybe get a headshot with one of these... Chainsaw attacks? No? No. I don't know what the Owen's plan is, but... He's not engaging at all. Urban tank is eating the damage, as per usual. Ah! Hello! I'm here as well. Ooh, that's a lot. That is a lot, actually. Punch out? No, he's just unsettled. This is, this is actually quite interesting. Uh, I think this Owen also runs a light engine, so if you do that, the engine might fall. Yeah. Um, there's an ammo explosion. Okay, fine. There's one more thing to do, and that is getting our tank into the fire, <clears throat> and then getting into the zone here. Beautiful! That was a fun mission, and I mean, it was two skull, but it was kind of easy, wasn't it? That's probably because the enemies engaged one by one, more or less, so they came in like a nice conga line of death, and we just could fall up on every single one of them. And it was a bunch of lighter vehicles that we could insta-kill, so their damage didn't really matter on the battlefield for a long time. If those guys were two heavy mechs and a bit of support, that would have been a completely different story. But hey, we got something done here. Let's see what we take. Hmm. What about this guy? 
One ballistic, one energy, two missile. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna take mech parts here. Let's see if we can find something that is good for our mechs. Like extended range, medium or large lasers. We have MML7. Uh, I'm okay with that weapon. I'd, li I'd like to have risk weapons of that kind. An advanced targeting system. Hmm. I mean, we have one. We don't necessarily need another one. Compact gyro. No, not really. That's a double heatsink kit. That's really good. Heavy ferro might also be a thing here. Yeah, why not? It reduces the armor quite a lot. Uh, the, the weight of the armor quite a lot. And we have the slots to use that. This is, might be a thing for the Loader King, actually. Improved sensors. Those are okay. I think we actually need a cockpit item. <laughs> There's Artemis ammo. I'm gonna take that. Sure, why not? We have AC5 ammo. I'm actually thinking about picking up another AC5 so I don't have to buy it. It is There's one in the store right now, but, you know, you can just take a pick. There's another Guardian ECM. But again, we have one that we are currently not using, so why use it? Why take it? Maybe for a future build, maybe? Beagle. All of these guys... Not really that interesting. The Whitworth. We don't have any parts for it, so I'm not taking it. Another LRM-10. I mean, we have two lying arounds. Don't have a mech for it right now. I'm gonna take the cores, I think, for the money. Let me see. Um, the targeting computer is 100,000 only. This is uh, 500. Is there anything better than 500 here? 200. 900. All right, you win. Compact gyro. That's good. And I don't think I can find anything better than that right now. Seems good. I mean, yeah, it's all right salvage. There's something that uh, I'm pretty happy to see here, the double heatsink kit and the happy pharaoh. Everything else is just garbage, but anyway. And we got the AC5 and we got the ELR. That's pretty good. Machine gun, MML, basic cockpit. Oh, uh, actually, that basic cockpit might help us later. Um, I just realized that we uh, took a look at the dervish earlier where we needed it. But you know what? I'm going to keep it around. I'm selling these engines. Maybe the 200 rated core is also pretty good here. And improved sensors, pretty good. I like it. Guys, I would say that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. And if you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, you can drop a super thanks down below beneath the video stage. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye.